you search for the truth with all your heart, you're going to find it, you know. God, you know, Jesus said, if you seek me, you'll find me. Yeah, Christian Hosoi, pro skater, I think the definition of style, because he had this gift to have this style that's so perfect. The things that he did were far beyond anything that anybody was doing, and his style and his charisma set him apart from everybody. And unlike Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk and some of those guys went one way and Christian went another way. And uh, Christian Soy is one of the most legendary skate figures, um, one of the most inspirational people that has ever lived like in terms of skateboarding and, and getting people stoked on skating and style. And, uh, and now he, you know, he, he's, uh, he's an inspiration in survival. And seeing Christian Hosoi now after he got in trouble, went to jail. I heard his testimony at Andrew's house. It is a big impact. What Jesus really had um, an impact on his life so big that he impacted other people's lives through the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ set me free. The Bible says, who the Son set free is free. And when I went to prison, it was like the handcuffs and the, and the cells all just went away. And I had to spend five years in prison, just the most happiest man in the world. Never felt happier. And to think about that, and people telling me, dude, are you crazy? These are bars, don't you, you see? You're locked up. And I was like, no, I'm free. You know, the Bible says, who the Son says free is free. And Jesus Christ truly set me free when I realized that He loved me so much that He took my place. Uh, the things that happen in life and Him being arrested and just the snowball effect of his own doing uh, brought him to a place of a changed heart and a, a changed person and even though he is still the same man he's he's different he has a he has a purpose he has a plan uh, other than his own plan my greatest goal now is to you know fulfill God's plan for my life to accomplish everything that he's called me to do you know, and I think that, you know, that's my goal, is to be right in the center of God's will. To be able to say, you know what, God, I love you with all my heart, with all my strength, with all my mind. It was hard, you know, like, you don't want to think about Jesus or your salvation, your future. You just want to party and have fun, you know, not doing anything wrong, basically, you know, just having uh, your life the way you know best. You know, and I think that the deception is there. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy everyone's life. And he's been doing it from the beginning, right? Right, right in the Garden of Eden. So he's not hes not tripping. He's going to try and trip everyone up. And those people that, that are saying, hey, that's good for you, that's good for you, they're just so independent in their lives that they don't think they need a God. And I think that's going to be the toughest hook that Satan has on people is that they're good people, that they're a good person, and that Christian, he was a drug, you know, addict. He needed God. He was in prison. He needed God. Okay, now it's helping you stay off of drugs. You know what? It's not all, it's not about drugs. This is not about drugs. This is not about prison. This is about eternal life spent with God or eternal life spent separated from God. And that's the bottom line. There's heaven and there's hell. There's no gray area there. You're either going to spend eternity in one or the other. And I think that um, once th you tell that to them, they'll have to make a decision whether to accept it or reject it. And nobody's standing up and telling people, hey, you know what? There's a place called heaven and there's a place called hell. That even if people might say, oh, I don't believe in the Bible or... I don't know, it's hard for me to buy, but you see Christian's life, how he used to be and what he is now, the transformation, the difference that God made on his life, you can see that that's real because the Bible says he who's in Christ is a new creature. You know, all things, old things have passed away, all things became new. And you can see Christian also is a different person now. That's the power of uh, the Holy Spirit that I see in his life. Praise be to God for all that. The person that he is and the person that he was is probably the same person, like many of us. Uh, it's just a changed a heart. It's a changed, um, 
direction. He's allowing God to do the leading instead of Christian making all the decisions. He's allowing God to make decisions. And he's being obedient and he's being a servant, which God calls us to be. And uh, the, the person he is now and what he's doing is just uh, revolutionizing uh, skateboarding again and also ministry itself. Explain to them what is the, exactly the good news? The good news is the gospel, basically, and it's the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That, you know, without Jesus Christ, without God sending His Son to take our place, there would be no chance for eternal life for us. Because sin separates us from God. And by Jesus Christ taking our place and through His blood, which is the, the atoning sacrifice, the remission of sins, basically he clothes us with his righteousness. Mm -hmm. It's because Jesus was righteous, mm -hmm. is that when we trust in him, he makes us righteous. And that's how God sees us, through the blood of Jesus, and then he sees us as holy. The gospel is living for Jesus Christ because he died for you, you know? If he can die for you, he's not even asking you to die for him. He's saying, just live for me. You know, and it's through our love for Him that we can we can have that obedience. My obedience is out of love for God and what He's done for me, and that's the bottom line. I'm I'm sold out, 100% committed to Him because He loved me first.